Welcome to Microfluidics 101. In this video, we will be teaching you how to make PDMS. Polydimethylsiloxane, or PDMS, is a silicone-based organic polymer. In microfluidic chips, PDMS is used as the flexible membrane between the control and flow layers. It allows the chip to seal in a desiccator and also allows for the actuation of flow manipulating valves. Valves require either negative or positive pressure to open and close. All Mars archive chips use negative pressure valves. In order to allow for proper valve actuation, you must use the correct thickness of PDMS. Larger valves require thicker PDMS, while smaller valves require thinner PDMS. Valveless chips may use PDMS of any thickness. Each chip in the Mars archive will specify the PDMS thickness required. The materials and tools needed to make PDMS are listed on the screen. To see this list again, or to see a more detailed version of the protocol, click the PDF link on your screen or in the description. While making PDMS, make sure you wear proper protection at all times. Now, let's begin. You will need silicone elastomer curing agent and silicone elastomer base. Turn on your digital scale and place your plastic weighing tray on it. Make sure you've teared. Begin by pouring 28 grams of elastomer base into the plastic weighing tray. Followed by 4 grams of curing agent. If you would like to adjust the thickness or size of PDMS made, refer to the link PDF for further instructions. Mix your base and curing agent together for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of thorough mixing, dispose of your mixing apparatus and burst the largest bubbles you see using a pipette tip. To burst the remaining bubbles, place your weighing tray inside the desiccator and desiccate this for at least 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, open and close the valve suddenly to pop the bubbles in the mixture. Repeat this until all bubbles have popped. Release pressure in the desiccator and remove your weighing tray. Check for any remaining bubbles. Prepare your glass plate by cutting two pieces of indoor mounting tape and pasting them along the widest part of your glass plate. Ensure the plate is resting in a flat position and pour the elastomer mix onto the glass plate. If bubbles form while pouring, use a pipette tip or another sharp object to pop them. Leave the mixture to sit for one hour. Preheat your oven to 100 degrees Celsius and place your tray inside. Cook the PDMS for one hour. After one hour, take the PDMS out of the oven and leave it to cool for at least 45 minutes. When the PDMS is cool to the touch, you may begin cutting it down to size. First, use a ruler and an X-Acto knife to slice off the tape around the edges. Discard these pieces. Prepare a cutting board and peel off the PDMS from the glass plate, being careful to avoid any tears. Finally, place a chip of the desired dimensions on your PDMS and use the X-Acto knife to cut it down to size. Congratulations! You now have PDMS to use in your chip.